always yeah I, i've not had too many issues with discord this is one of the first times i specifically had like a bunch of issues with it and it wasn't even like a bunch i shouldn't say that it was just my my discord on pc was not loading any messages and it just kept telling me that it couldn't load them so i had to like sign out and then try to log back in it wouldn't log back in um and then i reset all my all my internet stuff and maybe that was it but it worked after that so uh looking at mobile yeah mobile mobile's a little goofy which is the problem vash was having vash was having some mobile discord issues so uh cool okay so this first the first thing i got is a trailer um after we watched the trailer for meg 2 on tuesday i thought yeah we need to have more fun weird uh trailers and things like that we should find some things uh you know some good ones to watch and this is what i found this is the official trailer for a movie that is going to be called flaming hot and i think you guys may know what this might be about um uh, just found out today not all my emotes transferred over to discord so do you have them synced up with your twitch to do it also had some issues with channels not popping up on mobile oh okay yeah i, I could definitely see that hey ron what's up dude welcome in how are you doing ron i'm assuming you're getting ready for work hopefully you're doing well uh let's get into this trailer i think i think you guys are gonna enjoy this we all write our own stories. Where is Richard? I'd like to speak to him. I'm here. This time. That's me, the Metal Metal, Mr. Richard Montañez. I'm the guy who helped bring the world the most popular snack it's ever seen. Are you ready? I will. I've been ready. All right, all right. It was a little bit more like this. Spicy? Yeah, see, that's how I got here. Dear God, please forgive me for the gang, the drugs, the stolen cars. What the heck, man? Let's move it. Hey, he is praying, pendejo. Go ahead, baby. The guy started at the very bottom. I know I don't look it, but I got a PhD. Hmm. I'm poor, hungry, and determined, sir. OK, I can see you're going to be a weird one. What's happening? Way off, son. Lots of them. Frito-Lay isn't getting enough orders to keep the factory open. Who eats Cool Ranch anyway? That lady. Ow, 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 ow. Well, what is it? It burns. You stop eating it. No, I like it. It burns good. I had been searching for an answer, and there it was. They had been there the entire time. I got an idea. It's a spicy chip. It's gonna change everything. It will save our factory. And you're a janitor. No, 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 hang on. No one can kill you. Figure out the next step. Say, the Hispanic market will not be ignored. The Hispanic market will not be ignored. Good, but in your voice. You got the fire inside. Why are we wasting time on this janitor's crazy idea? Guys like you and me, we don't get shots like this. You see that guy right there? I see a chingon, a montañez. Yo soy montañez. Soy montañez. Get out there and be great. I think I'll hold you back. We want to know that we matter to you. If we knew that there was a product out there for us, we'd say, take all our money, cabrones. I got a little hood there at the end, but. Burns good or burns bad? It burns good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had to bring you guys some 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 ones that are a little bit a little fun. Uh, so dang, I didn't even realize Hulu and Disney Plus on June 9th. All right. Uh, I don't know if it's a real biopic, Ron. I mean, I, mean, I assumed it was. Why not, right? It looks like the McDonald's movie. Yeah, I never got to see the McDonald's movie, but I did want to see it. I also listen. I'm listen. I'm 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 known to I'm known to get into a a flaming hot Cheeto every so often. Listen, I know that it's not not a great uh, snack, but it's delicious and really spicy sometimes. <laughs> spicy corn, yeah, yeah, that that spicy corn. Oh, that spicy corn is so good though. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, listen, I wanted to just bring something, something a little extra to you guys today. Oh man, the jalapeno che Cheetos are good, my dude. They're good. To help sweat it out. <laughs> hey, listen, Niji. I, I can understand that. I can definitely understand that. I went clam and hot Cheetos now. <laughs> no, I know what you meant. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I definitely am gonna probably check this out. I think it's, it's gonna be fun. It could be, you know, goofy, but I think it's gonna be good. Yes, of course, everybody. I want you, I want you guys to all make sure you, you see Colf is in here. Hold on, hold up a second. Wait a second. Make, make sure y'all go check out Kolf. Vitalis Kinsect only? Are you serious? Kinsect only? Why? Oh Why do you guys hate yourself so oh, much? Woo! Don't make me roast your ADHD. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, oh, okay, get out. I... I countered! What happened? Well, you did it. You got out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what happened? Wow. <laughs> yeah, make sure you guys go check out Cole. Uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna do this as well. Just, just, just because I haven't in a minute here. Make sure you guys go check out the, the gamer tag Discord where Cole is gonna be playing uh, some Tears of the Kingdom, I believe, tomorrow. Um, so make sure you guys are over there if you are not already uh, and get prepared because of Nintendo's uh, terrible uh, practices as of late uh, Cove will be over in the discord it's got the juice <laughs> so don't y'all miss it right yeah that's so sad Nintendo, Nintendo really fudging people over right now uh, I did see this too. Um, I just saw this, uh, actually, yeah, yesterday or whatever. Um, and this made me super excited, which kind of goes in hand in hand with that, uh, thing we just saw. Boo! <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> What's up, Lamberto? How was your stream, dude? Um, so Disney Plus is going to start to add Hulu content, uh, to be part of a one app experience. Uh, which just, oh my god, that makes me so excited. I am so excited for <laughs> things to not be in multiple apps. This, this combination. Make, make things easier. Make them in one spot. Make it easier. Add on stuff. Well, the thing was that they bought Hulu because they bought Fox. So, I mean, they were kind of like trying to keep the same, you know, kind of, you know, that's kind of their, their thing was like, they were, they were trying not to change things up too much, you know, but at a certain point they do have to start to integrate and become all one thing. And I'm excited. I'm real excited about this. Outpost on Far Cry 4, bro. That is so fun, isn't it? mentioned the honey badger oh gosh listen that was my favorite thing with far cry uh i think it was three i played through and i i went through and i did all the outposts but before that i actually did all the hunting first so i was like upgraded to the max my dude you said there's a there's a there's a lamberto clip do we have do we have the clip on deck can we get the clip on deck here Stream Eclipse? Oh, this has got to be it right here. Oh, man, Birdo, I'm so sorry, my dude. Oh, there uh, there it is, too, man. Nice. Um, okay, I will play it right after I finish this this, this little piece up. Uh, okay, so it's going to be a one-app experience by the end of 2023. Each service, however, will remain available separate. I standalone options. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah, interesting. So we're gonna have to see what that looks like. So they're gonna they're gonna end up charging more for Disney Plus, or is it going to be? Uh, yeah, they'd have to, right?
Destination set. <laughs> Bad movie searching. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. Let's jump over and let's check out this Lamberto clip real quick. Bro, what is what is happening here? <laughs> Bro, that badger is getting away though. <laughs> oh my gosh. That badger twerking. Oh. Uh, uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Listen, and just as a, as a, uh, you know, just a, a nice round thing here. Get a little shout out in here for Lamberto. Make sure you guys uh make sure you guys check out Lamberto. Nice. Right. Has so many f fashion of Kirat. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> like nothing happened. Oh, bro, that was that was a good clip. A great clip. Um, so yesterday Google had a, they did a, what is, what is, what is that called? Target down. <laughs> that, that horn really got me for a second. Uh, they had a conference, uh, it was a Google IO conference, which is like their developer conference. Um, and so they're talking about some things. I think it's their developer conference. Uh, yeah, the IO, I don't, I don't remember exactly what it is, but uh so they like showed off a bunch of things so they showed off uh their fold phone which i talked about a couple weeks ago they showed off uh one of their their like smaller versions of their flagship phones uh, and some things like that but they're also talking about like a bunch of ai stuff um so i think a lot of people know chat gpt uh which is made by open ai uh, Google's been trying to find, uh, you know, competing, you know, service. They're trying to make a, a competitive service, um, and theirs is going to be called Next Bard. Um, and so they, I guess they're they're removing the wait list f uh, for Bard. So I guess you can probably sign up to to to, to test drive some of it or whatever. And uh, I just I thought that was pretty interesting. But a big thing I saw from their conference was. Um, Google's response to trying to bring AI to the forefront, but also doing it in a way that is also that is supposed to be like really like, uh, I, I want to say smart. What is the, they're trying to take a smart approach to it, having like restrictions on certain things, having rules, you know, responsible, a responsible that thank you, my dude. Uh, trying to bring AI to everybody responsibly. So they have like guidelines and things like that. Um, I was like, run Google, that's weird. The whole album, bro. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I guess like if, if you're interested in checking out uh, Google Bard, which why not, you know? If they're gonna make it available, you know, it's not a bad idea. Uh, do they have any of the, the information about their thing here? Or is this just all their Google stuff? One of the things I know that they're doing with, with their Bard stuff is they're bringing it to everything, bold and responsible AI. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, so this is kind of their uh, their their responsibility chart thing. Um, but they're bringing like their AI to like everything. So like Gmail, uh, their their version, uh, you know, the sheets and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna read over these real quick, just just because I, I I looked over them quickly before, but to be responsible. Still have a mess with ChatGPT? I have an account on ChatGPT. I actually was gonna add a I was gonna add a reward in the in the you know for the channel or whatever if you wanted me to ask it something that way no but not everybody has to have like all their information out there i would do it all for myself um if anybody's interested in that let me know i'll we'll, we'll i'll run that up as a as a reward at some point uh so number one was be socially beneficial two is avoid creating or reinforcing unfair biases uh three was be built and tested for safety four is be accountable to people Five is incorporate uh, privacy design principles. Six is uphold high standards of scientific excellence. And seven is be made available for use that accord that accord with these principles. Okay. So I like I said I I you know I I totally understand what you're saying, uh, Ron. But you know we'll see. Um, cause I thought they had a couple other things that they were working on. I think they were trying to find like ways to, oh, if like, I think if their stuff makes anything that it's going to also like have tags that it's AI. So that way everybody always knows what it is. Uh, you know, stuff like that. I just thought, now listen, that's, that's what, I mean, even if companies don't necessarily do it, it's what they should be saying. <laughs> hey, Casper, what's happening, buddy? How you doing, man? Did you get that money back for that PS5 yet? I'd like it. I, I'm, I'm excited for you to get it back so that you can go get it and you can get going, man. I'm excited for you. Um, They're just saying that for the optics. They could be. Listen, I think that's where people got to hold them accountable for those things, though. You know? Uh, the reason why they 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 thrive as much as they do is because people have just let them do whatever. You know, you got to hold them accountable. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so I saw this, and you know, I thought this was uh, the big thing for uh, you know because of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. Uh, a I don't I remember this game coming out. There's a Guardians of the Galaxy game. It's not part of the MCU, nothing like that. Um, but I remember it coming out and uh, the person who wrote this was saying that it's legitimately a pretty good game. Uh, a little bit underrated actually. Uh, and as of, as of right now uh, on Steam, it is 70% off. Um, so if you like Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, apparently this is a really good game and worth checking out. And at 70% off, not a better time. Truths, that's what I'm saying. Dang, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry you haven't gotten the money. Uh, hopefully soon, man. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But yeah, I, I agree. I'm feeling good. Got coffee. Going over the news. Excited, man. Tried a little bit. It was pretty good. Uh, worth it if you love Guardians of the Galaxy. Nice. Those are two people that I would trust with with understanding if this is going to be a good game or not. I beat on Street Casper as well. Jesus. All right. So yeah, if, if you guys have not not picked it up and you're 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 a Guardians fan, now's the time. Uh oh. Okay. So this next one, I'm going to. I think, right? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So this next this next one is is slightly slightly spoilery for Tears of the Kingdom. So if you're if you haven't, yeah, if if, if it's something that you're you don't want to know nothing about nothing about nothing. I'm I'm giving you and give you a, a couple second warning here. I'm going to this next one's going to be a little bit like that. Just to be a dissenting voice. <laughs> Listen, you can say a lot of things, man. And we'll probably accept them all because we love you. Thank you. Yes, of course. Thank you, Kof. That's why I want to make sure. Spoilers. Spoilers. 
very 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 slight spoilers and they're mostly gameplay spoilers so i want to make sure everybody knows all right we're going we're going over we're going over this is it uh can you spoil zelda how can you spoil zelda the new one is is slightly different that's why ron um it's just link over and over again no 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 it's it the spoiler <laughs> knows how to cook no 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 guys guys listen hold on wait a second and then she could find a way run <laughs> uh so if you guys have played breath of the wild you know that there was not uh traditional dungeons it was four divine beasts that you went through and they were all kind of samesy as far as you know the dungeon kind of thing um so nintendo has confirmed that uh tears of the kingdom is gonna have actual dungeons again and they will be they will be uh uh kind of tailored to like the area that you find them in and everything like that so not it won't be just four little things you know that you're going through or whatever actual dungeons are coming back so that's how you can spoil that ron <laughs> is when gameplay changes up um i'm gonna move on so that way we're not we're not you know freaking anybody else out but no get out of here buddy it's one of my favorite energies right <laughs> it's the <laughs> the un the unstoppable force hits the immovable object isn't that that's the thing right uh also yeah what's going on jester how you doing buddy sith and jedi and <laughs> the anti ron <laughs> uh i'm the jedi by the way i uh, debatable i don't think the i don't think the jedi would be spoiling or have such negative attitudes against about things man i think i don't know if you would be actually <laughs> Jedi are dicks. <laughs> no, you're just thinking about uh, Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. That's the only one you are, man. That, that's the Jedi you are. Someone say Jedi? We did. <laughs> Sith, they're a lot more honest. See, maybe you are a Sith, bro. I think, I think we've, I think we've, def I think we figured it out. <laughs> Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, plenty. We uh, Ron's trying to say that he is the he, he's the. <laughs> I'm just being honest. That he's the he's the Jedi here. The too honest Sith. I, I, I'm Sith of the toilet. <laughs> oh my God! What? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, God. Yeah. Uh, come on, man. We could, yes, we're back. We're good. We're good, Kolf. We moved. We moved by that one quick so that we. I didn't have to be out there with that. The Sith and Sith. That's what I was hoping you were gonna go with, man. The Sith and Sith. Oh my. booty upset tail i don't know I, i'm trying to read these emojis uh i haven't talked about fall guys in a long long time because i didn't play it or i haven't played it since when it first came out when it was still uh, a paid game and i got it free on playstation and it was great it was goofy and it was fun uh, but apparently Fall Guys is getting a creative mode. It is also a free-to-play game now. I'm pretty sure, right? And other new features. Uh, so there's going to be community-created levels coming, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, I've watched a couple people play Fall Guys. Um, and, you know, it looks like it'd be fun. Uh, fun again, I should say. I, I believe when it was free, Vash, myself, and my girlfriend uh, all played. I think we actually were all together at my house playing. Uh, we did like a day, so, uh, and we, we just, we, we were goofing around and having fun and it was a good time. I thought, 
expressing everything I feel. Booty upset tail. <laughs> that booty emote don't skip leg day is show, don't. That, you know what that booty does? It gets the hamstrings, you know? You gotta get the hamstrings if you if you if you get in a you want you want you can't just be working the glutes. You gotta get the hamstrings in there as well. Plump rum. Yeah, that fun. Pause. Dude, hold on. All right, I'm holding. <laughs> Bro, you gonna call me out like this on stream? Hold on a second. <laughs> you can't do this. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, uh... <laughs> uh... Oh, no! Oh, it did, it did, it did, it did. 69. Nice. Uh, hold on a second. Wait, I, I, let me let me run it back here for a second. I'll just run with y'all. Uh, yeah, the game was fun. It was fun because we got to play it all together. Yeah, same Casper. We, I haven't played it since then. It was when it just happened. Thighs need to rise. Oh my God. Yeah, thank you. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Smash with the 69 bitties. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you have to work all the leg muscles and the hip muscles. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, you can move on. Love you. <laughs> hey, yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know. Uh, oh, maybe after stream or something, I'll talk to you about it, man. It's 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 so awesome, bro. And it's so easy. If y'all have never used an arrow arrow press, it is sick. It is the quickest, easiest way to make a quick cup of coffee, and it's delicious. I'll give you I I'll, I'll run you through it, man. It's so it's so easy. Been playing Fall Guys almost every day. Depend it depends on my move. Really, DG. You still love it, man? You getting a lot of crowns still? Um, but yeah, this is super cool. Like I said, I think it helped me not drink four cups at a time. Right. But it will not stop you from drinking four cups in a day because it's still very easy. Not for the crowns. Ah, that's okay. Listen, I. It was one of those games. It was like Rocket League when Rocket League first came out. Oh my God. I I was I was getting really good at Rocket League. Um, and I was getting to the point where it was making me like, like jerk and stuff because I was getting so into it while I was playing, and I get a little frustrated and oh my God, and I would be yelling. That's how Rocket League made me feel. And then Fall Guys did the same jerking stuff that's right you heard what i said man you heard what i said ron and yes man it's it's intense I, I i can't keep on doing it but every so often it's fun rookie numbers <laughs> i usually make about uh yeah mine's about four or five cups of coffee a day that's about how much i do as well yeah plenty you absolutely should if you ever find a good deal on one do it it's super worth it game free but i never started from day one i only started around day one around because it was free on playstation half the strength of yours jerk and stuff. god damn it had to depart the party bus oh man lamberto so much uh so so fun to see you sorry uh i hope you have a great evening i'm sorry i haven't been able to catch the streams man they've been like right at that weird time of like when i'm getting out of work and getting home and stuff so uh, but keep being you, buddy. I love you. I hope you have a have a great time, man. Jerking the keyboard above your head. Don't do it. I'm better than this. What? <laughs> and his friend. Oh, nice. Um. All right. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Uh. I believe it was Niji gave us this update last uh, last stream on Tuesday, 
um, that the Hollow Knight Silk Song um, team kind of provided some updates. Uh, they had planned to do a first half 2023 uh, release, um, but they're still in development, so they're looking uh, like it's going to be pushed back a little bit. I think they're looking towards the end of 2023, um, but they're saying expect more details once they get closer to the release. Um, Ron, did you ever get to play any? Did you play all of Hollow Knight? If we get it this year. Oh my gosh, right? How long has it been in development? I yeah, I don't even know that for sure. Uh, it was real revealed back in 2019, so it's been a while, man. Played Fortnite as well. Oh really? Yeah, I know. I still know a lot of people who like Fortnite. I think a lot of people like to clown on people for what they play, and it's not really that worth it. If you like games, you like them. Whatever you like. Bash has, though. Yeah, he was really near the end. Looks like a very ragey game for me. Bro! <laughs> I think you need to play it, then. I think you still need to do it. Yeah, I'm still... I I have not finished Ori, man. I, I have... Uh, I have both of them because you gifted them to me as well. Uh, that was awesome, but I have not gotten to finish all of them. With ice cream from the ice cream truck? No way, dude. Are you serious? You got ice cream? Bro, you're not kidding. It's sad. They have the first one. I started the first one. I played a, like a couple hours of it, but that one fucking gut punches you quick. So no sad. Ah, brutal. Might not get it until May 23rd at the at the latest. The PS5, I'm guessing. I'm guessing, my friend. Um, so little little update on on Silk Song if you guys are interested. What is this one? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was making sure this one this next thing was appropriate for Cole, because it is another Zelda one, but it's not it's not a it's not a it's not a game anything it's a <laughs> let me show you uh nintendo made a zelda tears of the kingdom ad about midlife depression um so i'm actually interested about this i did i i brought i i, I picked i pulled up the the ad and we'll watch it in just a second um let's watch it real quick and then we'll uh and then we'll we'll come back you stay cool, Jester. Thank you so much for coming by. Is that out of ice cream? Bro, that's hilarious. Money back now. Okay, okay. That is hilarious, dude. I saw this ad. I was like, what the fuck? So, okay, okay. I, I I was pretty sure it wasn't gonna do anything, anything too crazy. So no Hollow Knight for you. <laughs> I see. All right, let's let's take a look at this ad and let's see let's see what this is all about. Come on, 
go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> yes. Nintendo Switch, play, connect. Damn, that was uh, legitimately pretty, yeah, pretty wholesome. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of a little more cute than I was expecting after this, this, uh, uh, this, uh, headline. Damn, I don't know. I, I, I was, I was, I was, I was geared up for something that wasn't this, so. It feels weird being in the demo demographic. I feel that, but yeah, it was that was a little bit how old most people were. <laughs> uh, uh, it's the full escape, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of interesting that we were just we're we're just kind of in like a a, a weird situation. Yeah, we're, we're all kind of being, everybody's kind of getting into that demographic where we're like, oh shit. Um, it was actually kind of a nice a, a nice little ad. It doesn't, you know, I think that's about as good as you're gonna get from from actually, you know, from an ad and stuff. Um. <laughs> Probably one of the first of that generation. Seems like an indie ad. That's actually pretty funny. Not one kid at the GameStop. Really? That's interesting. 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 So they are. They definitely know their demographic is, is you know, the... Oh, that's interesting. That's really... That's one of those things I was think. Yeah, I was thinking digital too, but I was wondering if that's kind of a thing too. Like, how many kids care about Zelda now? Like, is is it is it all the older Zelda fans? All the you know, the the NES, the sixty four uh, Zelda kids now? Is it just those guys? Not the, like the the new kids even care about Zelda? Do they even know? Kids even understand what Zelda is anymore, guys? For new people, yeah, that's true. That's true. But but how many kids? <laughs> uh so yeah, okay. I don't know, just a very a very actually a very wholesome, kinda nice ad. I actually it was your first Zelda game, so have to agree. Yeah, I think I listen. I, 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 I think that's awesome. Um, but I think Vash is right. Like that's the it was the one that breathed new life into it for people. I just don't know if uh, I just wondered if it, if if it was helping with like really young kids. Like if the young kids were like, ah, oh, Breath of the Wild. This is, seems great. My guess is no, right? Don't know if I'm gonna watch the Nuggets game tonight. Oh, why not? You got to, man. Um, okay, let's move on. I never around kids to know. Me neither. Uh, okay, so I kind of read this article a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna try and sum it up. May have to read a little bit of it while we're here. Oh, let me do this down a little bit. Zelda is for old people. No, <laughs> not not for us. Uh, as everybody knows, the writer strike is still going on. Um, but apparently, uh, the Andor creator is stepping away from Star Wars over the strike. Uh, Andor Andor showrunner Tony Gilroy has announced that he will cease non-writing duties on the second season of the series, which is currently in production. The announcement 
uh, comes per The Hollywood Reporter, which broke the news via a statement from Gilroy on Tuesday. So I don't know if this means he's just stepping away for now or if he's going to be coming back. Um, I discontinued all writing and writing related work on Andor prior to midnight May 1st. After being briefed on the Saturday showrunner meeting, I was informed uh, Chris Keezer at the WGA on Sunday morning that I would be ceasing all non-writing production functions. Uh, Gilroy's statement is the latest in a series of ma uh, major shakeups that have occurred since the beginning of the WGA strike on May 1st. or bad news uh it does seem like bad news it sounds like uh, tony gilroy is is stepping away and, and he's not planning to come back on friday may 5th reported it was reported that the show's second season in addition to a couple other things would resume production in the midst of the strike uh the new drew intense criticism both from fellow wga members and those online including wga member person uh, who singled out gilroy in an instagram post so it sounds like oh my god it sounds sounds like more and more like people were kind of like they that they were saying that they were going to keep working through the strike or whatever and that they're getting kind of like attacked online and it sounds like they're going to be Uh, there's kind of a wrap up here. The second season of Andor is expected to be released in August uh, next year, though there is no word if the strike or Gilroy's absence from the production will delay the series. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. So he is stepping away like officially and not and not coming back, which is really sad, actually. Oh, no. Um, yeah. For anybody who hasn't watched Andor, you should. It's it's fantastic uh a fantastic show lots uh very good these past years uh well and you know the strike doesn't help and it it, it sounds like that's kind of what uh led to a lot of this um i'll be interested to see i'll be interested to see if something more uh, comes from this after the strike maybe uh so this is the post that somebody made about him uh, about tony gilroy because they were working through the strike or whatever uh this is scabbing there's no way a writer producer can finish writing uh can finish writing and begin sole production and if the scripts are truly finished let's see them if there's one word different in the uh, finished product kick tony G gilroy out of the wga so pretty much saying that he was that he was scabbing you know and if he changes anything you know during this time of the strike that that he's crossing the line uh one of the biggest writers in hollywood could stand with his union and halt production on his hit show uh, therefore forcing a major studio to consider wga demands a little harder instead he chose to be a scab we all want andor season two but not at the cost of the fairness of the uh the writers um Listen, that's actually very fair. I feel like that's actually super fair. Um, and because of this, he's essentially said that he's stepping away. And yeah, yeah, it sounds like not returning. So it's sad. But also, if that's if that's, you know, they're kind of calling him out for, you know, essentially scabbing. That's not great either. Uh let's move on though yeah was there anything oh they, we were talking about andor okay let's let's let yeah let's move on from andor uh switch news mm -hmm. so everybody wants to switch pro i think everybody's kind of looking like can we get like a little upgrade to the switch it's been a it's been a few years now guys can we get a little get a little upgrade um and so like every so often this goes around where they talk everybody talks about wanting an upgrade for the switch i finally 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 um 
found this article. It did come out the other day. I mean, but there's there's uh, somebody at Nintendo talking about Switch hardware. Um. Oh, Nintendo president uh, talking about it. And essentially they're saying, uh, if we're going to do an upgraded version of the Switch, it will not be until next year. Um, I wanted to see, they had a specific thing. Oh yeah. Uh, they talked about development seems to be progressing well. Uh, but product launch launch won't happen before uh, next spring at the earliest. So we're looking we're looking at least a year out at least uh, before we even start to see any kind of new switch hardware. Uh, according to the latest sales figure, the company has sold around 125 million switches. Jesus. milkus as usual that's what it feels like so if you've been holding out for a uh a, a new switch uh you gotta you gotta you got at least another year to go um oh yeah this was this was this was uh <laughs> this was an article i really <laughs> by by five device five versions of the device before the real one uh i mean they make like what like one one version and then they make a different version and then they'll make like a an extra version after that before they do an upgraded or a different version or a new version uh as you have the switch the switch Lite, and the switch oled <laughs> uh so i got this article because i talked about it on tuesday um and i wanted to make sure uh, I brought it up after after talking about it. I feel like I, I had to bring it up. Uh, the Meg 2 looks incredible. The trailer has a Megalodon eating a T-Rex. This is not what the headline was. It actually was something a little more bombastic than that. Forget the Flash. I'm trying to watch a Megalodon fight a T-Rex. Um, few things go together better than summer movies and giant sharks which is why we should all be thankful that megalodons are returning to theaters with meg 2 uh the first trailer uh for the jason statham starring uh, action blockbuster was re released on monday and features all sorts of ridiculous action already including a megalodon facing off against its similarly prehistoric cousin the T tyrannosaurus rex the tyrannosaurus rex um, I just wanted to make sure I threw this in here because I talked about it, but this person is, is obviously, they're more excited about the Meg than they are about the Flash. So I want to make sure everybody knows. Apparently the Meg is going to be huge. Uh, oh, this next one is going to be great. For, I don't know if Plenty's still hanging out, but if she is, this is, this is the one for Plenty. How dare you say that? No, forget that guy. It could be. Listen, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was a funny, it was a funny article. I kind of agree with you, Casper. I don't think there's any way it's going to overshadow the flash, but listen, it's funny. Uh, uh, so the U S Navy is teaching a sea lion how to play video games. Yeah. I thought this was, I was like, Oh, okay, whatever. I just loved this little video that's happening here. I can't even get even closer. Come on. So it looks like he just has some like basic uh, button control, like a up, down, left, right control. Um, I, I just want to I want to see him actually play something. Uh, the, the article goes on to say this is either is either the most terrifying or the most adorable thing you might read today. Uh, the U.S. Navy uh, mammal program, which I had no idea was a thing, same, is working with sea lions and dolphins, training them to play video games. Uh, 
one of the programs in California has been around since at least 1960. What the fuck, Verizon? Jesus. I'm trying to, I'm trying to skim the, the basics here. I was trying to figure out what the reason of doing this is. Uh, this little gay, the guy's name is Spike. Uh, it's more like his gamer tag. Oh gosh. Spike has been playing very simple maze games uh, now for three years uh, using an Eve system, which stands for Enclosure Video Enrichment. <laughs> Would be a hot streamer. Damn, that'd actually be that'd actually be a sick stream, bro. They should do it. People would be over there all the time, man. Um, yeah, so I just thought eh, that's pretty funny. I have no idea what the reasoning is, like why you would why you would want to be teaching a sea lion how to do this. Would fund the project. Uh, it's part of the U.S. Navy, which is like you know the U.S. military. Uh, don't think they need any more funding because they already have uh, way too much. Now, they have so much funding that they can just uh, do this, apparently. Yeah, because the one line in here, I, don't, I didn't even say because the guy was, you know, just being funny. But <laughs> got to spend that oversized defense budget somehow, I guess. <laughs> Agreed. So, I don't know. I don't know what this is about. I just thought it was super cute. And I was like, ah, oh, Plenty will really love this. She may not see it until later on, but. Uh, okay. So let's go and see. These next three are just uh, some game uh, game deals and things like that. And of course, we, I like to try and go over the Epic Games every Thursday. I think this week was, oh yeah, see they don't even have them listed because it's all just, uh, what was it? Okay, so yeah, this week's was just a bunch of The Sims uh, stuff. So I didn't even up, they didn't even update this page for it. So apparently this week is just a bunch of Sims updates and stuff. Like if you if you have The Sims, Sims Four, I think it's a bunch of Sims stuff. Boring. Moving on. Ah. Uh. Okay, so this one was pretty interesting. Uh, so Humble Bundle has a Capcom Heroic Collection. Um, so you can get a handful of these uh, games uh, for at least 30 bucks. So you gotta pay at least 30, 30 bucks and you get, you get 10, 10 games. Um, guys got cut off there. Yes, Ron. About 15 minutes ago we did. We got back though. Yeah, m the my streaming uh, software was acting up. I'm so sorry. But we back, Ron. We back, dude. Uh, so yeah, they have, so uh, let's see. Monster Hunter Rise. <clears throat> Street Fighter, Phoenix Wright, Mega Man 11, uh, Dragon's Dogma, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, another Mega Man Legacy Collection, Lost Planet, Strider, and Bionic Commando Rearmed. Have to be going, unfortunately. It's no problem, Ron. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I figured when I got disconnected, you were just going to not be able to hang out, uh, which is fine. I understand that. It was great to see you, man. I hope you have a great day at work. Hey, I, I'm not gonna completely try to pronounce that. Thank you so much for the follow. If you have a name that you would like me to go by, um, throw it in the chat. If you uh, just wanna lurk around, that's no problem as well. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna go over to Humble Bundle, you got a couple of these Capcom games you wanna check out, get over there, get them. Check them out. Uh, and the other one, I saw, I saw, I saw Casper said something. I'm going to get to that in just a second. Um, the other one was Anna Piranha, Piranha, Pir Piranha, Anna Piranha, Piranha. Uh, what, how do you say this one? You know, Anna 
Annapurna. Purna. A Annapurna. Annapurna. That's it. <laughs> I don't know why that was that was escaping me. Uh, they are having a publisher weekend where they are discounting a bunch of their games over on uh, Steam. So, a good handful of uh, handful of games if you want to go check them out that are all going to be on sale, including Stray, which I um played i think last year and it is a fantastic it's definitely worth playing uh but it looks like they have a good good handful of games in here oh yeah like outer wilds what remains of edith finch journeys in here flower i don't even are these all by this this company are these are just all deals damn these might all just be deals but there's some other deals in this page too Twelve minutes too? Oh, I didn't even see twelve minutes. Was it in here? Oh yeah, right here. Oh yeah, Vash played a little bit of twelve minutes on stream. I think he played a couple of a couple of streams of that. It was pretty interesting. It was pretty cool to see. So make sure you go check that out. Um, and yeah, so uh, PlayStation is doing an update to their free games for May for their PlayStation Essentials package. Um, and they're gonna have Ranch, Ratchet and Clank uh, Rift Apart for free. So make sure you go over and uh, pick that up if you have uh, PlayStation, uh, as PlayStation Plus deals, you know, whatever it is. Links to deals in the Game Deals channel. That's correct. And any of the any of the news uh, links that, that we talked about today will be in the news. Uh, channel as well uh, and with that I think that's it I think we'll uh, we'll wrap up the news for today 